Getting a robot to find you the nearest MRT exit? This is not sci-fi, it's just another day in Shenzhen. From AI customer service to flying drones to autonomous taxi, this is one of the boldest real-world test suites for AI anywhere in China. Today, I'm trying out Pony AI's autonomous taxis here in Shenzhen. You just book, hop on, and go. So far, it's fast, it's smooth, and it allows you to hop on from hundreds of pickup points within Shenzhen's Baoan and Nanshan district, covering an area of roughly 200 square kilometers. Shenzhen may be China's living lab for autonomous tech, but Shanghai is taking its claim on the world stage. I'm here in front of the Shanghai Foundation Model Innovation Center where the city's cutting-edge AI models are developed, showing exactly why Shanghai is earmarked for the World AI Cooperation Organization's headquarters. With that, the city now carries Beijing's mandate to lead on AI diplomacy. As Shanghai builds its international profile, Beijing holds fast as China's research powerhouse, its elite universities and national labs keep it at the core of the nation's AI progress. Then, there's Hangzhou and Chengdu, both stepping up in different ways. Hangzhou, led by giants like Alibaba, excels in large language models, smart cities and e-commerce AI. Chengdu, Western China's innovation hub, draws on state-backed labs and policy support to grow in robotics, healthcare and public service AI. So who's winning China's AI race? Analysts we spoke to said it's not a sprint, it's a relay. Beijing's the brain, Shenzhen's the hand, and Shanghai's the voice. Hangzhou and Chengdu rising fast. No single winner, just cities running their leg in China's AI marathon. From diplomacy to deployment, China's AI race is no longer just about one capital, but how each city defines the future in its own way. So the question might not be who wins, but who leads where it matters.